What you got going on, Oos? Uh, shit, I was about to go to the car wash. Really? Which one? You already watched the, the crystal one? You watched that shit already? A like, couple days ago, from Drew. Yeah. Shit, mm. hoping today. Yikes! And then you got the faceplate? Yeah, it's down here. Welcome back. Today I had to pull up tire south, uh, get an oil change, get a tire rotated. Uh, make sure y'all rotate y'all tires at 5,000 miles, um, just just so you can even out the wear on the tires. But we got a special guest today. This is Cody's truck. Um, if you know, if you've been following the channel, Cody's been uh, my wheel, tire, and lift guy um, at Tire South. He's the rep that I always go to. My boy always take care of me, um, but he finally, after all these years, finally got a truck, a Chevy. He had a Ford F-150 before, but now he has a Chevy C Z71, and he finally got it lifted. Um, he's running the eight inch BDS full coilover system, uh, 24 by 14 fed parties with 375s. Now, a lot of people have been wondering if 375s would fit in this eight inch lift on 14 wides, and it definitely does. Now, he does rub at full lock in reverse, and it, ver it barely rubs well with a little bit of trimming. Now, he needs to take this off because it serves no purpose now. As you can see, it's only a little bit, but uh, definitely rubs, uh, but not that big not that bad only in reverse oh it's beautiful uh it's got the eight inch bds uh, that's good yes sir and a couple things he's working on is he's got he's got to upgrade the exhaust but yeah shout out to cody you know this lifted life so let me know what you guys think Another eight inch BDS for a callover system. Um, as you can see, maybe because I'm on a slope, but his truck is higher than mine right now, but it is on a slope. But what do you guys think? Did he do good with the fours or should he got sixes? I tried to push him to get sixes, uh, 26 by 14, but this is his first lifted truck. He won a little bit of meat on his tires, which is a good choice. Uh, I preferably like the 26s because uh, the wheels seem to look more proportionate. Uh, but on his, it's not too bad just because of the meat on the tires. But I like it. Bow, let me know what y'all think on the comments. Y'all stay tuned. Bow, some the bitch. Just pulled up at Ooze House. If you know, these are my traction bars. They're from Chaotic Concepts. You can find them on Instagram. I'll put the tag right here uh chaotic concepts uh, i got it in a black gloss black finish which looks hella good it looks reflective i can see it i can actually see my reflection in it um but yeah it got the face plates which are down here uh and shout out to pro eagle he gave it to me for a good deal um just so i could have it use it and tell him how i feel pro eagle is the shit uh if you don't have a jack for your lifted truck you should get one um but the, these are expensive and they're for the enthusiasts but i wanted the convenience of just not worrying about having blocks 
just the extra carry weight and stuff like that. So y'all make sure y'all check out Pro Eagle. My boy Chuck, he's an entrepreneur. Designed these jacks from scratch. If you read up on his story, um, great dude, great guy um, with a great build uh, or a great product. Uh, definitely reputable. Uh, definitely big in the off-road industry. Uh, if you go to the desert in California and stuff, really big. Uh, a lot of those off-road vehicles that they, uh, like the Bajas and stuff, they actually use Pro Eagle a lot. And that's why I went with them. I uh, wanted our guys and or me just to have, just in case if we, you know, break down on the side of the road, flat tire, we can easily jack up the road. I mean, jack up the vehicle easily, no issues. So. All right, y'all, so we started putting it up, putting on the, uh, we're getting started to put on the traction bar. This is what I got so far. Took the uh, factory U-bolt uh, thing right here. Put the new one on, got to tighten it up. Um, and then we're gonna go from there. Just the factory one. From what I've been told, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, owner at chaotic concepts told me that is really easy shouldn't even have to try to pay anybody to do it for you you should definitely try it you know to get it done yourself save you some money so that's what we're doing here should be pretty easy uh i gotta drill into the frame that's probably the only sketchy thing that i'm worried about and another thing is just getting the u-bolts tightened down um to where you know where it's supposed to be so i'm gonna get back to work and i'll give y'all an update soon oh. back at it again daniel so yeah we got one side on already bam's finishing up all right so we had a we finally got it in we got one side in had to drill out that fish the nuts in uh, this is done as you see, we got work on the other side. Yeah. guys so i don't know if i showed y'all the traction bars in the daytime i know we just started at night but this is what it looks like let's see if i can get y'all a better view let me know what y'all think uh so i uh, appreciate y'all watching make sure y'all hit that subscribe button hit that like button uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Bow. Catch you on the next one. Smooth the bitch.